Hey, what's up guys? It's Cons here, and today I'm just going to be bringing you a commentary, not a live commentary or anything, but um, th uh, I'll just tell you right quickly the gameplay in the background, Chasm, Search and Destroy, I used the MTAR, I don't do that great, but it was just a gameplay I had saved up, so I decided it was a good length for this commentary, so I just threw it in there. But uh, today I'm going to be talking about Phase 5 and just Phase in general, because a lot of people have been talking to me about it. Um, will I be going for the phase 5? No, um, unless they change it up a lot. I don't play for clips at all. Like, I, I don't snipe anymore, I don't trick shot. Um, mainly because I just don't have enough time to play for clips, and I'm, like, I'm not insane at the game, so I don't hit a ton of clips. So for me to, like, play to get clips, I would need to play a lot. And I just don't have time with sports and school and everything that's going on in my life. I don't have enough time to play that much. So, yeah, most of the time when I play, I just play with, like, submachine guns, assault rifles, and just go for gameplays and stuff like that uh, now. So, yeah. Um, so, unless they change it up to a whole lot where there's, like, a big portion of the thing is about your channel and about commentating and stuff like that and maybe even if there's not sniping commentators just regular commentators um, then I might go for it it all depends I'll have to see the layout of how they do it but if they have like any section that's mandatory that you hit clips I'm probably not even gonna go for it um, but then again I do encourage everyone else to go for it it's if you especially if you play for clips like because um, who, who knows even if you just hit one really good clip that could like, that could get you a lot of exposure, you know, so I would encourage a lot of people to go for it. Um, some people were asking, like, predictions I have. Uh, I had some predictions for people who might make it before the, the common, like, the whole personal channel uh, commentary sort of personality side kicked in, like, just purely on clips. I had some people who I thought would make it, but now I don't know, because to be honest, I don't watch a ton of, like, um people's youtube channels how would i say it like i watch obviously phase Gwit, phase rain phase apex phase jev those guys and then most of the other youtubers i watch are either a lot bigger than that or are like really small like my friends so i mean i don't watch a lot of let's soar oh, um i watch some obey personal channels um and just maybe some leaders channels but really in general i don't watch a ton of how would you, uh, just a ton of like their personal content, their commentaries, their series on their channels. I don't watch a ton of that, so I I honestly don't know who will make it. It all it also depends on how heavily they weight the sides. If they would say if it's like seventy five percent clips and twenty five percent your personal channel, but the way that I've been going when they if you see on their roster they switched um. Instead of it saying leaders and players, it now says staff and directors. So that makes me think that they're trying. I, I feel like they're trying to get away from trick shotting and the montages and just to get into like, uh, just to get into Call of Duty like commentating, not just trick shotting, but I think, I think they may even move into like some like these commentaries, how they have a uh, like regular guns in the background and stuff. But uh, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Yeah, so, yeah, it all depends on how heavily the things are weighted. Um, I'd, I'd encourage my, my players in Savage to go for it, um, especially because it's just a great way to grow your channel. I, like I said, like I said, um, yeah, what, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, sorry, my bad. Um, but, yeah, uh, if your personal, uh, your personal channel will grow, but the, like I said, the only reason I'm not going for it is because um, I don't play for clips. And maybe in the summer, like that's what I said last summer. Last summer I was like, okay, I can finally start playing for clips again. It's going to be summertime. And then I literally was home maybe like two, two nights a week. I Like every night I was out with my friends at a friend's house or something. And I didn't really realize that I was going to be out that much. So, And this summer I'm going to be even more busy because I'm playing... Um, like my basketball season goes even later this year um, so yeah I think this gameplay is almost over we end up going 4-0 and 0, but
but I just want to talk quickly how I think I think how I was saying that FaZe I think is trying to get away from sniping and trick shotting, which I think could be good or bad for the community because it could be bad because they are the biggest growing they bring in all the people like mostly that watch trick shot and content i bet like 80 percent or more of people that watch trick shot and content now the first trick shotting team they watched was phase i know mine was for sure the only trick shotting team i watched was phase for like a, a year or two like even when i was like a try hard uh, before I even got into sniping at all, uh, I would only watch FaZe. But yeah, I think this gameplay is going to be coming to an end, but I'm just going to keep talking for a little bit because I wanted to say, um, th yeah, that, that could be a negative for sure um, If because they're the biggest team, so they uh, we could uh, l smaller teams could lose uh, subscribers, like not lose subscribers, but stop gaining subscribers uh, as fast as they were before. Uh, but a positive thing would be that no teams would, like I was saying, no teams would be so far apart. Like you would see, um, like for example, FaZe has like what, two and a half million subscribers, something like that. And what's Soar have? Soar, Soar has like 500,000. So FaZe has five times more than Soar does. Well, if, if FaZe leaves trick shotting and stuff like that, um, Soar will have like 500,000, but Obey has like around 400,000 so they're like really close together they're within a hundred thousand not within two million of each other right and there's not such a big discrepancy in them um, and same with like that I think so it'll it won't really be like oh everyone's just going for phase that's the dream team it's like soar obey maybe even era some other clans like that maybe SB I don't know I don't know like how things will be run uh, Genesis I don't know because if phase i feel like if phase goes into this director thing a lot of the players like most of the players are going to leave um because a lot of them don't really like commentating i'm guessing because a lot of them don't upload a lot or maybe they're just too lazy but yeah um that's what i think i think that uh yeah i think that that will happen and i think it'll be I th overall, I don't know if it'll be good or bad. I mean, like I was saying, the bad people could not gain subscribers as fast. But uh, on the good part, like the teams will be closer together, and it won't sort of be a monopoly. Like, if any team, any the team that has the power right now is FaZe, and no matter what, FaZe will be the biggest team until the end. I think because he, until or if they like decide to go away from trick shotting and sniping. Um, but I think that would be good because, like I said, Sorrel Bay, and there wouldn't be a monopoly. There would just be these teams fighting for the best. It'd be like in the NBA or something if one team was just completely dominant, like five times better. Uh, it wouldn't be as fun to watch as if there's competition, right? You always want that competition between the teams. And right now, like not to offend any teams, but Sor and Obey aren't even really close to where FaZe is at merely because they don't have the fan base that FaZe has. And people want the FaZe fan base because that brings their personal selves up. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this commentary. If you have any questions uh, or any other topics you want me to talk about or even more things about FaZe you want me to talk about, um, just leave them down in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys like this commentary too. It was just a different video I decided to do. I don't normally do a lot of commentaries, but I felt like talking about this today. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, peace until then.